From hosting the Blues and Jazz Fest to providing a natural backdrop for family, movies, or a place where hundreds just go for a daily walk, Frontier Park is a destination of choice for many activities. But a jewel like Frontier Park needs a nurturing hand, and a lot of effort goes on behind the scenes to keep the park a destination of choice for thousands of people year-round. That's where the Lake Erie Arboretum at Frontier Park comes in. Joining us now to talk about the role of LEAF in the special milestone is Catherine Taves, Program Director of LEAF. Uh, Catherine, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, Thank you. You, you know, if anyone has been around for a while, they've seen the transformation of Frontier Park. And like we said, that doesn't come cheap. So tell us about LEAF and the role it plays, not only for the park, but really the community. So we work as Frontier Park's nonprofit partner, which means we work in collaboration with the City of Erie, and um, we just do what we can to keep Frontier Park a beautiful, clean, vibrant destination for people of all ages in Erie. And like we said, it takes a lot to maintain it. How does it, how much yes. work takes into maintaining a teaching park like Frontier? Oh, well, I mean, even and our executive director was up weeding our green roof the other day, so we're, um, we're out constantly doing just general maintenance of the landscape, but also um, monitoring the grounds, making sure that all of the safety concerns are addressed. It changes from day to day, but basically we just want to make sure that we're a resource for the community to make sure that the park is the way that they want it to be. Well, yeah, you have a big event coming up, but first let's talk a little bit, because I know people are always curious, uh, what are some of the plans for the Arboretum? Well, one of the things we're fundraising for right now um, is to build a really cool nature slide that would be an awesome attraction in the Erie area, but we're also working to expand our programming and the audiences that we reach with our art classes and science classes and field trips and different things that we do. Um, you know, a ski lift would be nice on the sled hill for <laughs> winter, but that's just a suggestion. Um, anyway, so tomorrow you have the Arbor Edom. Um, explain what that event is. It, so we do only one fundraiser for, per year, so we try to make it a really fantastic party so it's worth coming to. And um, basically it's a party in the park is what we call it. And this year is our 20th birthday as Frontier Park's nonprofit partners, so we're making it a birthday party for adults. And what's included this year at the event? So the birthday party part of it will definitely have balloons, and face painting and all that stuff that you might enjoy at your children's birthday parties but with you know more of an adult vibe to it but we also have amazing local restaurants that are um, they'll have food stations we uh, will have entertainment we have the new frontier band that Eric Brewer has organized that's going to be there doing a fantastic performance uh, Jen Dennehy will be there doing a dance performance we have and the event concludes with this really cool fireworks display each year. It is an impressive fireworks display. Uh, how much are tickets and can people still get them? Yes. So at this point, since the event is tomorrow, the best way to get tickets would be to visit our website. And there's the URL is there, leafeerie.org. And you can buy a ticket online and they're $100. Okay. And like you said, uh, if someone would like to also make a donation, maybe they can't go tomorrow, uh, can they call that number or visit the website too for that information? Yes. We encourage people to get in touch at any time. Okay. Catherine Taves, Program Director of LEAF, thank you so much for joining us, and I hope we have a great event tomorrow night. Thank you for having me. And we'll be right back.